Yo everybody, what's going on? My name is Dakota. Welcome to my YouTube channel where we do reactions. If there's a video, uh, music video, uh, movie, a reaction, if there's a video of anything you want me to react to, let me know in the comment section down below. If I react to that video, I'll give you a shout out. And you guys already know we're covering Ryan Up Church because he's like, ah, uh, what's the right word? He's fucking, <laughs> he's a skin. Uh, we're gonna figure out what this video is about. I, I watched like 30 seconds into it. I was like, ah, oh, snap, let's do a reaction on this. I haven't done a reaction on one of his regular videos, but they're usually so freaking funny. Um, so if you guys enjoy, leave a like. Joe up, Church. What are you doing, bro? Same shit, different day. Sitting over here watching this cowboy dude walk through the woods with a fucking piece of paper that says REGC on it, looking at the camera all weird, wearing shell necklaces with Blay Ocean tribal tattoos. What the hell was he doing that for? I don't know. Looks like he's breaking up with me or some shit. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I know Ryan Upshur is gonna do his thing, but we're gonna do our thing too. Um, I'm not a cowboy, I'm a country boy, and these pants don't look like, they look like pre worn for one. And two, that looks like a fake necklace. I don't, like, how much you wanna bet this guy does absolutely zero with God, or had, like, no. I'd put money on it that that's a fake necklace. Those even Ray Bans, man. It's like a Taylor Swift music video. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Dude, if I'm telling the teacher was a face, holy fuck. <laughs> this is the face you make when you run off on the plug in the backwoods like where the Amish live. You don't like run off with the bag. You like more so like nab a bundle of radishes or something. This dude nabbed a bundle of radishes, dog. So Ryan <laughs> up I, see, I called go. him out on not keeping his word. He done. How much you want to bet he don't give two shits? Called call Ryan out not keeping his word? See, I don't even Sorry, question Sorry, for the tumbleweed to roll across the background. A little bit of that, like, western whistling, you know? <laughs> right now, I have a dip in. Somebody else do it for me. You know, Ryan, I would have called... I would too, but I can't whistle that well. Like, <laughs> yeah. you and done this over the phone with you but I blocked your number. <laughs> <laughs> and then you block my numbers. Dude, there was this song back in the day. <laughs> so, where else can I give you the apology other than here? Yeah, right. Where, where else can I talk like American Dad? I don't know, dude. He's apologizing, huh? I don't give a fuck what you do, to be real. I don't watch your stuff, fucking. I am so sorry for not calling you out for being a little poser. Also, I have no clue who this guy is. Like, if he is someone that's well-known or actually has a following or something like that, I, I'm not even being an extra dick. Like, I'm on Ryan's side for whatever. Because I trust Ryan and he's a believable guy, so I don't even, I'm not even questioning this entire situation, but I really don't know who this guy is. Fuck, man, what are we gonna do if we don't have guys like this during the end of the world, right? I mean, fuck, <laughs> dude. Who's gonna tell all these people who try to attack us, like, hey, you're a poser? Because that'll fucking end everything, you know what I mean? They'll be like, oh, fuck, he called me a poser. I gotta fucking, I gotta just pack up all my artillery and leave. You really think that you're gonna scam me out of thousands of dollars? Oh, fuck. That must have slipped my mind. I, I forgot when I needed to steal four thousand dollars from you. So huh? this four thousand dollars you gave me was it in a check form, PayPal? And I'm just gonna stay silent. Th th what I'm trying to tell you is I don't care whether you do or not. <laughs> you know, I haven't talked to you in like over a year. Just because I don't want to, you know. Just gonna totally ignore the situation like it never happened. Sweep me under the rug. You think really highly of yourself, don't you? No offense, but you're not high on the list of important people in my life. You've never been up against someone like me before. What, a guy who has a YouTube I like I like that like Ryan is, you know, recording on a webcam or his camera or whatever at home on his desk and this guy, you know, he really prepared for this. He's got the freaking mic on his shirt that's probably going to uh, his phone or he's got like everything set up Ryan's just like alright let's make this video channel that talks no about the deal. news that everyone else talks about that everyone's sick of hearing 
darn. You got something to say? You're really upset that I called you out about something? Ain't this the guy that bitches about gaslighting? Huh? Ain't that what you're doing right now? I'm just saying. By the way, I found out about your video like hella late. Somebody asked me the other day, they were like, hey, did you see HDC's video? I thought they were talking like a video game or something. Find a gym that has an octagon. We'll both sign waivers. Oh, yeah, right. You, you oh, he wants to fight now. To fucking Walt Disney World. Go get some wine, motherfucker. With everybody else. Hell, I wouldn't have even made you wear gloves. I'll wear them. That way I don't mess up your face too much. Ah. Uh, do like the people that, you know, try to attack Ryan or go after Ryan, do, are they all like, I don't know, stupid? Like the guy's proved that he's intelligent. He knows how to uh, uh, get in and out of these situations, and he's always right. And like he just did an interview um, with Country Cast, really great interview. Um, and what is it that he said? Uh, uh, he really cares about music, and that's why nothing's ever like bit him in the ass, or that's why his fans really um, like him or love him and care about him and then that's why his music makes it is because he really cares about music uh, I don't know where I was going with that <laughs> good one you see I have to go back and forth with these people on the left because none of them would ever offer me to do what I just did to you <coughs> yeah like what will I ever do if I don't take the opportunity from the fucking dude on YouTube who sits in the fucking bushes and dresses up like a kangaroo trapper but hey the offer is still open if you do still have some country boy in that black lives matter loving ass <laughs> he what? wants to know if there's something about <coughs> this man weird the guy, what this guy here just said is black lives loving ass he's it all it, like it comes off racist the way he's saying it like, hold on. I've been asked. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Trapper. But hey, the offer is still open. If you do still have some country boy in that Black Lives Matter loving ass. If you still have some country boy in that Black Lives loving ass. It sounds racist. Like, yeah, Ryan loves black lives. What the fuck is wrong with that? <laughs> He wants to know if there's something in my ass, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you do still have some country boy in that Black Lives Matter loving ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, there's a guy named Heavy Duty that wants to know if there's a country boy in my ass. What the fuck? They're <laughs> not going to let you live that one down. <laughs> Badass country boy who spends 200 grand plus a year on security. That's about as country as Paris Hilton blowing Sleepy Joe. Yeah, damn man, what a wonderful joke. All right, anyway, come here, look. <laughs> just, just, just come here, man. Yeah, I do spend two hundred thousand dollars a year on security. Sure do. For my mom and my brothers, but for Word. myself, no. I'm walking out to the street right now. You see any security guards anywhere? Well, that's why I respect Ryan. Where you at, church? In the middle of the fucking street. Because clearly Ryan is letting Sleepy Joe bend him over now. You really got a thing with guys bending over other guys. <laughs> Cowboy. Look at this next clip. He took so serious, bro. It's funny. Stop telling me to say, let's go, Brandon. I just feel like it's kind of, you know, making me dumber. Let's uh -huh. go, Brandon. <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> now you tell me how dumb that makes someone saying that after I'm done with this entire video. Yeah, everyone's really excited to watch you I'm so lost. Field. It's fucking exhilarating. Like, what is he gonna do next? Surely he's not gonna sit in a field again. All right, so for those of you who don't know. <laughs> Which is gonna be a lot of people. Like Everybody. <laughs> 2.3 million people to be exact. Ooh, Honey Nut Cheerios. He invites me out to Tennessee to hang out and to do whatever. I ended up going with the only intention of hanging out. Maybe doing a few videos together, just having some fun. And when I'm there, we talk about this old song that I did. <laughs> Do you fucking hear yourself, you big dumb fuck? <laughs> the intention of hanging out. But I mean, we could make some videos. And then, and then I did tell them about my music. 
you know? But, you know, my only intention was to hang out, not to, not to use him for every goddamn thing he's able to do. That I didn't spend that much time on, didn't really put a whole bunch of effort into it, and I thought it was terrible. Who the fuck walks up to somebody like that? Also, if I'm not pausing this enough and giving more of a reaction, I apologize about that. I'm kind of just enjoying watching it, so. And I have this song that I made. It's fucking horrible. Want to listen to it? And he's like, no, man, you just need the right guidance. Let me introduce you to my producer. Uh, yeah, dipshit. That's called a favor. I listened to your yeah. track. I didn't want to discourage you. So I pointed you in a direction to someone who could possibly help you because your song sounded like shit. He wanted me to meet up. Bro, this dude's attitude is like fucked up. <laughs> you hear how he just said that? He wanted me to meet up. He wanted me to meet up. No, dude, you needed help with music stuff because you don't know shit about it. I was trying to give you the guidance from Isn't someone. Isn't this like the second guy that, or didn't Shotgun Shane do like the same thing? thing? Anyways, months go by and it's time for me to go to Tennessee to record. And all of a sudden, Ryan Upchurch's word becomes a big pile of cow shit. If I'm helping you and you ain't got no skin in the game, you're on my time, buddy. I'm not on your time. Look at everything I've done. You're <laughs> on my time. Hey man, it's time to record. Do those dates work for you? November 10th, 11th, and 12th. Let me know if those dates work for you, man. I'll book a flight. I get a response back. Who is this? Look, I get mistakes happen. People flop on their word all the time. But it's not about the mistakes you make in life, it's how you own them. Since when do cowboys get mad that other men don't have their numbers saved on the phone? <laughs> when I called Ryan out for being nowhere to be found and me being fed up with it. Look dude, I'm already taken fucking, but you need to go find a boyfriend because that's what you're explaining that you need. Like dude, listen to him. When I, I called him out because when I called for him, he wasn't anywhere to be found. <laughs> What kind of cowboy are you for? Like, what state? Not a real one. Probably. I don't know. I I, I honestly can't speak on it. You think you're so holy. But he's not a cowboy. Cowboys don't act like this. Holy? That you think I'm going to let you gaslight me and just bow down to you? Look at my face. Tell me about huh? I forgot you existed, dude. Yeah. I don't watch your stuff. Clearly, you underestimated this shit out of me. <laughs> he thinks I have the time to estimate this video is only or like underestimate him. Damn, that's cute. Because I don't care who you are. I don't care what you do. I as long as you love me. If you mm -hmm. give me your word on something and it doesn't mean shit, I'm going to call you out. Here's the thing, dumbass. People in the real world don't fucking care. We don't fucking care out here. Look at my YouTube. I'm with my friends doing fun shit. You huh. sit in a fucking field and bitch about the same shit every day of your fucking life. Your life is fucking boring. Oh my god, so I'm gonna rent out a go-kart arena for us? I don't know how much it is, but it, it's gonna be a lot. It was only a thousand dollars. I'm gonna pick her up in my Lambo? So like you're mad about me picking up girls in badass cars? What, 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 what's going on here? You want to ride in their seat? What's the deal? Do you yeah. think someone like me is impressed by fucking Lambos? In yes. your head, do you well, want I me to impress that. you? What the fuck are you saying? <laughs> when you pick that girl up in that car, you think I'm impressed? Well, I'd rather you not fight with a female for my front seat of my car. And the fact that you can rent out a go-kart arena? I kick shit around all day. Yeah, because kicking shit around all day sounds way more fun than go-karts with your friends. <laughs> this is the first country dude who's like, man, it must be impossible to rent a, a go-kart track. Hello, have you never been to like, you know, anywhere? You get five right? buddies to race with because you need people to race with. If it's a thousand dollars and you have five friends, you all pay 200 bucks. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You get to race. You see my hat? It's got more dirt on it than your boots have had in the past two years. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm 30. I don't reply well to shit like that anymore. <laughs> and then everyone blocks me. Gee, I wonder why. It's okay. Keep my four grand. We'll call it charity. 
Well, I'm just going to call it what it is, invisible, because you never gave me $4,000. And you were probably upset that my views on America don't change like the wind. I don't know your views, man, I, so mm -hmm. I wouldn't know if they changed or not. <laughs> With the wind. Ryan is smooching Black Lives Matter's ass. Look who's on his new album. Boozy Badass. Damn. Yeah, and it's sick as hell. You really ain't got nothing to talk about, do you? <laughs> Imagine the television brainwashing you so fucking much. You think that because someone does a song with a black artist, they automatically are kissing the ass of some fucking huge organization. Uh -huh. Did it ever occur to you that maybe some people don't waste their entire day with their face in their phone watching like CNN and stuff? whatever else there is. He's also known as the biggest race baiting black life. Blah, 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 clickbait, clickbait, whatever. I don't fucking give a shit. If I didn't see it <laughs> with my own eyes, then I don't fucking care, dude. We're not robots, okay? Not everybody has to be like you, dude. It, we live in America. If you want to go hang out with people who think and dress and walk and do everything you do, then go do that. But I'm not that fucking person. I don't give a fuck about politics. I don't give a fuck about what he said, she said. I don't. He, he doesn't care, and that's why I like him. I still don't understand. So this whole thing is about $4,000 that this guy supposedly wants back, but he's saying he can keep it, so that means the guy just wanted to make a video to act big and bad or something. I just I don't, don't know. care. I live out here in the fucking real world. I don't give a fuck what goes on here. And we all know you had him on the album to reach a new crowd of people, AKA the black population. Oh. What's, what, what, what? One, that's not why Ryan has him on the album. Um, two, there's nothing wrong with wanting to reach the black culture. They're just people. Like, huh? Oh my God. Now, not the fact that he's a fucking legendary Southern rapper. Oh my God. Huh? This dude is an imbecile. Boozy badass on looting during the George Floyd protest. I'm a musician. Do I look like a fucking politician to you? Bro, I got <laughs> chip teeth. I got kitchen tattoos. I ride around till 2 o'clock in the morning in muscle cars smoking fucking weed. I'm not having yeah, Al right. Gore trying to figure out what the fuck I'm going to do about global warming. All these people who are listening to your album who are people mainly like me. white, just know that there's a dude who was allowed to be on his album that's still deciding if your life matters. You realize that more than half of those white fans grew up bumping boosy, stupid? This is why you don't <laughs> talk about shit you don't know about. Which is why I quit talking about politics, because I'm not a politician. Or what about that song, Ryan, that Boosie made called Fuck the Police? There's a lot of songs that are like, fuck the police. And even if you don't agree with the police, or if you do agree with the police, you could still bump to a fucking song. That's music. There's a time in your life that you'll be against it. There's a time in your life that you'll be for it. Me, I stand with the police. Doesn't mean fuck the police uh, by, uh, uh, is that what it is? Fuck the police by NWA uh, isn't a banger song because it is. But I stand with the police. A lot of people stand with the police. This guy's kind of stupid. Isn't your drummer's wife a cop? Yeah, so? ask her what she thinks of you working with a guy who wrote a song that said fuck the police. I can guarantee you she probably does not give a single shit. Is, is this how your fucking brain works? You think <laughs> just because she's a cop, she's gonna be like, you know, I've been thinking a lot lately about my husband's friend's friend's song he wrote fucking 15 years ago. <laughs> you know, people do have shit to do, right? Boosie is also a dude who was named in a murder for hire plot. Yeah, everyone who listens to hip hop already fucking knows this. You didn't figure out anything. There you go, Ryan. There's your apology. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's Life boring, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name's Dakota. That, of course, is Ryan. And that was just my reaction. The guy Welcome seems, back, folks. I don't know who HDC is. Um, I'll go look him up. But I, I, I don't know. He doesn't seem like the smartest cookie around. Uh, he's trying to come off all big and bad like, and he's really not. No, you're looking at like a modern day Johnny Cash, and I feel like this guy's this. I'm um, HDC. I'll go look him up right now. Uh, but anyway, not even comparable skills. I've never heard of the guy, and I've heard a lot of people. So whoever HDC is must not be that important. I mean, <laughs> heard of Ryan. All right, peace out, guys.